Alright, so, uh, number six has examples and it wants us to say whether we feel heavier or lighter. Okay, if you have a heavy book bag on, you're going to feel heavier. Alright, if you have someone pulling up on your arm, you feel lighter. If you're on an elevator and it starts moving up, you're going to feel heavier. Okay. Now, in any of these above examples, did your weight change? No. Okay. If you got on a scale and you looked at how many pounds you weighed, and then you picked up a bowling ball, all right, the scale is going to reflect the normal force that the surface has to apply back to you, but it doesn't change your weight. So, what force really gives us the feeling of weight? It's going to be the normal force, Fn. Alright, draw the forces acting on this lady. Alright, well, is she on Earth? Yes, so she's going to have... I want that to be a little thicker. She has the force of weight. Okay. And she's also standing on this surface, so she has a normal force being exerted on her as well. Force of weight, normal force. Alright, so we did that. Now it wants us uh, to calculate the normal force acting on the lady in the elevator. So we know that the sum of the forces for this lady equal mass times acceleration. We also know that the sum of the forces equals F1 plus F2 plus however many forces we have going on in this situation. But we only have two. We have the force of weight and the normal force. Right? So the force of weight is pulling her down. The normal force, because she's standing on the floor of this elevator, is being applied back upwards to her, keeping her on the floor in place. So if the sum of the forces equals mass times acceleration and the sum of the forces equal F1 plus F2, we can actually set these two things to equal each other. So we can say F1 plus F2 equals mass times acceleration. Alright, so let's go ahead and say that Fn is the first force, so Fn plus, and then we have the force of weight, and it's actually pulling down, so it's going to be negative. So it's actually minus the force of weight equals mass times acceleration. Alright, so let's plug that in. We don't know the normal force but we can calculate the force of weight. We know that the force of weight equals mass times gravity. So the force of weight for this lady is going to be 55 times 9.8. Alright, let's plug that in. Fifty-five times nine point eight. So this lady's force of weight is five hundred and thirty-nine newtons minus five hundred and thirty-nine newtons equals her mass is fifty-five times acceleration, and the acceleration is six meters per second. All right, so. The normal force minus 539 minus the force of weight equals 55 times 6. Which is 330. So to solve for the normal force, We have to add 539 to both sides.
And when we add 539, to 330, we get 869. So the normal force on this lady is 869 newtons up. Alright, the force of weight is falling down, the normal force is being applied up. So, we decided up here, what force makes you feel lighter or heavier? The feeling of weight, the normal force. So the normal force is greater than the force of weight, 539. So is she going to feel lighter or heavier? She's going to feel heavier than normal.